I cannot believe I found these. Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Aniko. This is my very first thrifting video I've ever shot for my YouTube channel, so welcome. And my channel used to be about filming videos on vegan food. I still want to do that. But I'm changing up my channel just a little bit because I've been feeling a little more aligned with this kind of lifestyle. Thrifting and fashion has always been in my heart. It is something that I've always loved to do. And I think this time in my life, I finally figured out what I want to pursue because I'm reaching to that age, you know, in my 30s where I kind of want to start figuring things out and moving forward I'm gonna start doing more thrifting videos and just pretty much showing the world how I express myself through fashion and clothing because I feel like that's me. And sorry for the noise, I am outside the parking lot of the thrift store in Laurel, Maryland. This thrift store I'm about to go into is poppin'. Like it has all kinds of clothing and especially the shoe selection. It's it's so huge. I'll show you when I get in there. So we're gonna go inside and see what we can find. And of course, before anything, we have to drink water and make sure we are staying hydrated. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing when you walk into the store, you're gonna have the shoe section to your right side. And today is pretty packed. I just immediately walk straight to the black shoe section and it's full. So when I say the shoe section is popping, it's popping. But today, I don't think I really have too much of an objective or what I'm looking for. I usually have a list of what I want that I get my inspiration from on Pinterest. And I pretty much just like save in a list on my phone. And then I go through that and see if I can, you know, find whatever is similar to what I saw on Pinterest. So I think today I'm going to keep searching for kind of like these black ballet shoes that has like a minimal strap on the foot. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can find that and see if I can find any other gems. ballet shoes. I think they're pretty cute. They have like these little straps in front of the toes, but for the material, like being shiny, that's not really what I'm looking for. I thought these were pretty cute. The other day, I bought the exact same style. The one I got are Steve Madden's and I'm kind of liking this one better because of the design of the gold, but too bad. These aren't my size. I think I would have I would have gotten these if these were my size. A score. I found the shoes I've been looking for. Ballet slippers with the strap on the foot. It's a puppy and it's my size. <laughs> Look at all of these leopard prints in this section. It's so crazy.
as I turned around looking at the bags, I found these flip flops. Totally Y2K. I just might get these. These are only six bucks and they're my size. Pretty good condition, not too worn out. So yeah, I think I might get these. Okay, so I probably almost spent four or five minutes skiing in the shoe section because it's so dense and there's so many options. And I, <laughs> I cannot believe I found these Dolce Gabbana's. Damn! You know, original retail price, $300, and I'm definitely gonna buy this. It's not my size, but I'm gonna be able to resell this easily. <laughs> so now I am just looking through the clothing section. I'm pretty much done with the shoes. I'm um, just gonna change up the environment and start looking for outfits. Another one. I'll be back. just gotten done. I literally spent probably about like three hours, but I found some pretty good stuff and I will show them when I get back home. Okay, so I just decided I'm gonna do this right now here in the car because the, the lighting's really pretty. So, first things first. It's mostly shoes, which that's always almost the case. Uh, whenever I go thrifting, I look for shoes. I usually get a pretty good deal when it comes to like the quality and the brand. Okay, so the first thing I bought was obviously the high platform flip flops. They're H&M, which I really don't support for fast fashion. However, it was $6 and it was my size and I've been looking for something like these for a pretty long time. So, I'm so happy I got these. Next item. I wonder like if they're watching me like film or something, but I don't know. They're <laughs> whatever, they're just driving off. Anyway, that's what's gonna happen when you're 
sitting in a parking lot and there's like a lot going on. Anyway, the next item that I got, it, I, I couldn't believe my eyes like when I found this and I think I got a pretty good deal out of this. So it is a black high heel Dolce & Gabbana. It was priced at 25, but it was half off because it was the blue color. So $12, pretty good. It's a little scratched up in some places, but I think I could correct that. And yeah, everything else is pretty good for these shoes. Except, however, one condition, um, I was a little bummed out, it was one shoe only has the strap. This one does not. Yeah, this is so cool because this is pretty much like my first real, you know, designer brand I copped for a really good price and I can like resell these. So I'm very happy for that. And then for clothing, I bought this really cute long maxi skirt. I just absolutely love the texture and the way it fits me. I've been pretty much looking for a skirt like this for a very long time. I think it looks very classy and elegant. So yeah, that's why I got it. And the last score of the day, I was very, very happy because I've been looking for these pair of shoes for the longest time. Are these, which are the ballerina flat slippers. Um, these are exactly the shape and style I've been looking for. You know, it's the cute ballerina style where it's flat at the top, not too pointed and not too round. And then it has the straps at the, the top and the buckle is really cute and all and it was my size. These are pretty much brand new. They're barely warm. They were $8, but 25% off. Altogether, I spent around like $37 today. So I think that was a pretty good deal and pretty good return on investment because I know I'm gonna make my money back when I sell these deals. So I hope you guys like this little adventure you went on with me today. Hope this inspired you guys to go thrifting every once in a while to get your outfits because thrifting is the best way to help the environment, you know, impact wise when it comes to not support fast fashion and obviously your recycling clothing that already exists. That is why I love thrifting is the recycling purpose, the fashion, and you get a good deal out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you really liked it, please like this video and consider subscribing if you want to see more of thrifting content. Until the next video, I will see you guys later.